Mabuhai. Welcome to Rural Art Connection, the place where your boredom ends and your creativity begins. Today we're going to look at a DUI dream catcher kit. Yeah, sit in the seat right now so you don't get spanked a bun. No. Yes. No. Daddy will spank those buns hard if you're not listening, be good chub. No, no. Yes, he will. Each kit from the 99 cent store comes with a set of instructions to help you along your dream catcher journey. It also comes with uh, instructions and everything you need to know to stitch the dream catcher. But the, it comes with these weird little paper stickers which I didn't like very much so I chose not to use them. It also comes with press board feather shapes. I, I would have much rather have actual feathers, so I let my kids play with those. It comes with two hoops, a large and a small press board. I went ahead and covered those later on and you'll see it. Um, inside this little pouch you've got um, twine, beads, little wood beads that are unpainted, different kinds of laces and yarns, ribbons of many kinds and varieties. I really like the lace. And here's some more beads. I think there's five and little sticky pads to stick on the stickers. So yeah, five beads. I started with wrapping my hoops with yarn because I didn't like the idea of just putting the sticker on there and having the back side be just open press board. So I got out my Mod Podge, good old Mod Podge paintbrush, and I just painted Mod Podge onto the surface of the press board, tied the yarn on, and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. And every little bit, I added more of the Mod Podge glue to hold everything down. Mod Podge also works as a varnish or a sealer if you paint it over the top of stuff. Uh, however, you have to be careful because sometimes it will bleed. Whatever you're using can bleed sometimes. So to start the actual weaving part of the dream catcher, you tie your string onto your hoop. So I opted for the shiny elastic string because I was hoping for a wintry frosted ice sort of feeling. So I got, got it tied on there really, really well. And this is the very, very first time I've ever, ever, ever tried to make a dream catcher. So I thought that it was going to be relatively easy and I would be able to pull it off pretty quickly. <laughs> Little did I know things were not going to go as planned. So for the first stitch, what you do is you wrap around your hoop, then you go through the hole that you made or the little opening you made. And then that's your stitch. And that needs to be a little bit loose, but here in my first 
attempt, I made it too loose. So again, you're going to go around the hoop, around the hoop, or not, I'm staring at it, around the hoop and through. And you just go the whole length of your big circle that you have. So around and through, around and through, around and through, all the way around. Then once you get around once, you'll do the same exact action except through the loops that you made. So you'll have 12 loops that you made and then you'll um, split those in half going through again. So then 24 and on and on and on until it gets smaller and smaller and tighter towards the middle. So here's my first round. Do, 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 all the way around. And then we'll go into the second round. So then you can see I pulled a loop through and then I go through the loop that I made already. And there we go. And you go around and around and you pull it tighter and try not to get tangled like I did just there.
if you like this video, go ahead and tap that subscribe button, hit that like, and I'll catch you in the next one.